Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. Today we are going to be playing with jars. And I'm going to show you how to make a bank out of a jar. So let's get started. To get started on this project you want a clean jar and some fabric. Cut the fabric so that it fits your jar and it says what you want. If you can't find fabric, use some scrapbooking paper. The first thing you're going to do is make the slit in the lid of your jar. You need a metal block or a piece of wood. A chisel works great. I eyeball it and you give it three or four quick hard pounds. The reason I do it before it's painted is if you do it after it does take away some of the paint. Not a big deal. You can repaint it with a second coat if you want. But the most important part about making that slit is when you turn it to the inside there are sharp edges. You want to take and I use a screwdriver to help bend them down. I will hammer it down some more and lastly I take a file and I file those edges. You don't want anybody getting hurt so if you aren't able to get that so that you're, you can rub your finger across there and not have it hurt it's best to not put a slit in and have your bank open by the lid. So that's the most important thing. Then I take and I spray paint my jars. I take them outside and I use a spray paint that dries fast. I do three or four coats and then there's no streaks or anything so it works really great. You assemble your lid on your jar and then you pick out the fabric piece that you want on there and use some Aline's Tacky Glue to glue that on. And around the top, like on my sample, I put some raffia. You can use twine or fabric around the top. It just gives it a little extra. And on this one, it was a square without anything. I wrote seed money on there. And I also, on this one, I took and I spatter painted. If you can see the little black dots, you take a toothbrush, dip it into some paint, and wipe it off a little, and you take your finger and flick it. That you do outside also. It just gives it another layer. So that's it. Quick and easy banks to make. I hope you enjoyed the project today of turning a jar into a bank. I'm Ann Butler, and I think it's cool to craft.